So now we have to get into proper UV unwrapping. Nice. Pelt mapping is cool, but and it's simple, but it's not the proper way to do it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to unwrap the UVW. So go down to the modifier pane and select unwrap UVW. And you see I have a very uh, clean UV right now. Now again, I told you before, now I'm going to, I'm showing you this so you, when you get into ZBrush, it's really easy to work with this because we're going to be doing simple stuff in ZBrush for now. Uh, I made these edges be right where I wanted. I want a rim here at the top and I want a rim here at the bottom. Uh, in order to make sure that that comes out all right in ZBrush, I'm actually going to separate these in the UV map, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my UV editor and I'm going to select everything. Just drag it out and select all the edge. Oops, I got the wrong thing selected. I want edges. In fact, I could just do that in this window. Just select everything and select mapping, flatten mapping. And you'll have it at a face angle threshold of 45 with spacing at 0 0.02. Just leave everything checked here except for by material ID and select OK. Now you'll notice what happened here. I'm going to open, expand this window. What happened here, and you're, you're probably looking at this thinking, man, this is a royal mess, but this is actually what we wanted. At this point, what we have to do now is put the puzzle together. All right, so we're going to piece this together how we actually want it on our map. So I'm going to select a chunk of it here. I'm just going to drag it out. Now first, okay, I can see that is the dead front. I'm going to put my seam. All right, for starting out, I'm just going to go ahead and put this whole thing together, and then I'm going to decide where I want my seam to be. And I might actually have two lines going down the top, because this is a really good topology that I came out with. So I might have like a line here, a line here, maybe scaled in the center, and then in the back, I could probably do the same thing, line, line, and then some scaled armor piece right here in the back. And we're going to do all that with the normal map in ZBrush. So I go ahead and maximize this. I can see where I'm at. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this and I'm going to put it like this because I can tell from my topology that that's the top and this is the bottom. So I'll go ahead and do that and putting the puzzle together. Now we're going to be using some new tools in the UV editor that you guys are probably not familiar with and it's going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and select some stuff here to try to figure out. Usually you'll get a blue line but I'm not seeing one. Okay, there's a blue line there, blue line there for this piece. So maybe I'll go ahead and drag this all out. Uh, select this out. And we're going to move it. I'm going to drag it out here where I can work with it. I'm going to select this, put it back in here because I don't need it right now. I like to collect all my little pieces as I go along and put them somewhere convenient where I can easily grab them. So what did we have here? I want to figure out which side is the top. So I'm going to select one of them, kind of scroll, find out, okay, that is the top. So I'm going to rotate this to where this is at the top. Okay, so I'm going to select this. I can tell by looking at the puzzle that this needs rotated this way. And we're going to go ahead and select the Move tool and just drag it over really close, kind of rotate it a bit more, and then once I got it roughly into place, I'm going to select both of them. Then I'm going to come over here under Stitch, and I'm going to select Stitch to Target. And see what just happened there? It stitched it together. I'm going to continue to go along and piece this thing together. And that's all you're going to do at this point is just put your puzzle together. So I'm going to continue to take parts, drag them over. Oh, those are in the way. Move them off to the side. And put my puzzle together. I can see where that goes. Now this is going to get a little malformed as we go along. Don't worry, we're going to fix that by relaxing it once we get it all into a pretty good shape here. That's where that goes. Go ahead and rotate this some. And we're going to move it. That's good right there. I'm just going to take both sides, select them all, maybe deselect this side, and select stitch to target. And then stitch it all together. See how simple that is? We're just going to keep this process up. I'll select this side, find my blue line, and go ahead and drag this over. And rotate it. Move it. 
actually think this is kind of an interesting thing to do because you're kind of putting together a puzzle. Uh, I've always thought that it was neat. This ain't where the magic's going to happen. Magic's going to happen in ZBrush, but this is very important. This is how you create a normal map that it's just professional. You know, it's a, there are scripts out there that kind of do this for you, what we're doing right now, but uh, got something selected here that ain't supposed to be. There we go. But I always like to do this by hand. I've tried those scripts before and they never do it. They never create the UV layout as well as I can do it by hand. So I just do it by hand. It takes time, but so it's kind of interesting. It's like putting the puzzle together. Um, gap here. Might as well just stitch that. There we go. Select this side. Ah, we got the main piece that I wanted to start with. So over here, so I'm going to move this so I can work with it a little better. Now you can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel. All right. And this is where it kind of forms together. So we'll go ahead and rotate this. Move it. Mm, that looks about right. We'll select both these sides here so I can stitch this together. Maybe deselect this side of it. And then stitch it. I have some gaps here, so I'm going to select a vertice close to the, or uh, polygons close to this gap, and then look for the blue line. There's the blue line, so I just grab it, drag this on down, put it in general vicinity, select some polygons near it as well, and stitch it. It's very simple to do. This really doesn't take too much time at all. If this is, if you ever get to a point where this is taking you a billion years to put together and the puzzle looks insane, then you made your mesh too high of a polygon count. And then you can drop that down, start from scratch or what have you. Then stitch this target and let's go ahead and find that one. There you are. Sometimes if it's just a single, you can just hit stitch target and it'll go right to where it's supposed to be. So I'll try that again. Stitch target. Went right where it was supposed to be. And we have some edges here. And let's stitch that. I think you guys get the concept. Just put your puzzle together using the stitch target button there. Alright, guys, see? That looks right. So now we have some leftovers here. I think I'll put everything on the uh, right hand side. I guess that's how that goes. And go ahead and just select another one. Hmm. I want it to stitch to this side and not to this side, so I'm selecting polygons with it on this side. That way it goes where I want it. Like that again. Ah, what do we got? A few more. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of want to. See, it looks all messy. It'll get fixed really fast when we relax it. So I'm just going over here, select some polygons near it, stitch target, like this one over here, drag it, select some near where I want it to go, and stitch to target. And I got these singles. What happens if I do? Don't do that. It's connected to both sides. So let's try this down here where I see blue lines. Oops. Select some where I want it to go, target. And then just drag this down to this last blue line, select the polygons where I want it to go, and stitch the target. Now I have this whole upper chest is a single thing. It looks really tacky now, so we're going to go ahead and relax it. Up here to mapping, uh, or no, tools, and select relax. Now there are two different ways you can do this. You can relax it by the edging, with three different ways. Don't relax it by center, it'll shrink this whole sucker down into a little dot. Which is good if you only want a pot, you know, everything to be a single color, like a rope or something. Uh, but that's not what we want here. So we're going to, I'm going to try face angles and see how this turns out. There we go. It looked, uh, looks really nice. And now if you look, take a look here at the checker pattern, just click here and then click checker pattern, then minimize. Uh, look how nice and clean that checker is very nice clean checker there's going to be no stretching of the texture anywhere on this but we're not done yet because now we need to take it 
we're gonna break this top off from this and we're gonna break off the bottom from this and we're also gonna create two sh lines down the top and two lines down the back. So when we get into ZBrush, it'll be really easy to break this thing down. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select all these polygons. And I wish there was a shift tool you could use for this, but unfortunately there isn't. You kind of have to. This is actually easier to do in the viewport if I come over here and um, hold down my control key, I can select them. I'm gonna select every single one of them across this top line. Because again, I'm gonna have this uh, lip up here. This will be a little time consuming. I haven't really found a faster way to go about doing this kind of thing here where you want to break it up into elements within the UV map. So you just kind of, this is just how I do it for now. If you find it a faster way of selecting polygons and, you know, in a straight line while in the UV editor, please do let me know because <laughs> I have not found one. So, okay, I got all those selected. I also want a line going across the bottom, so I'm just hold down control and continue to select. Just go, maybe I can get lucky here. Go back and then try to drag select a bunch. Yeah, that worked. And select the back. That sucks. Okay, now that I, I want to scan over it, make sure I didn't accidentally select anything. So now with my top and my bottom selected, I'm going to maximize this and double check. Okay, they're all selected across the top and across the bottom. Perfect selection here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take it and I'm going to break this off. So just hit break and then you can drag it off. So now I've separated this from the rest. I'm just going to drag it off to the right for right now. All right, I'm not done yet. I still want to do something else with this. I want to, again, I want this going to create like a line kind of going down the sides of it. So think about this naturally. It should, I'm going to leave the breast inside of it. So maybe I'll have a line right here. Uh, maybe a few more. Okay, right here. Let's create a line. Oh wait, I don't want the top and bottom selected, so just select anywhere. Go ahead and select these. This will all make sense when we get into ZBrush. You'll be like, oh, I see, that's pretty smart. Um, let's see here. There we go. Smart little trick there, if you have the left viewport open and you're trying to get the same identical polygons that you picked on the uh, right hand side, just select them on the right hand side, then come over here to your left viewport and click one of them and it'll appear over here so you can see exactly where they are. Neat little trick I picked up there. All right, I wanna separate those. And I was thinking, um, cause this is gonna be scaled in the front and I'm gonna have like some scaled in the back here, but the side is gonna be kind of a cloth. So I'll take a look at it from a perspective here. Probably right here. Looks good. Yeah, that'll look nice. Oh, I should have selected this on the other side. So now it's gonna be hard to figure out. No, let's do the right. Pop this over, move it to the right. And I can kind of see it's faded there, but I can select it here. I want to make sure I get the right side here. Fun with viewport tricks. And I'm just going to select these right here. Now I'm going to open this back up. And you can see I've got them selected. I'm going to go ahead and break these off as well. 